Now, in this lecture, we're going to understand how to work with apply middleware helper function in the Redux. We're going to see the different features of using helper functions and we will see how to use these apply middleware helper function in the React application. One of the more interesting concept in Redux is to include the custom middleware functions to the dispatch method of your store. So what is a middleware function is? Redux middleware functions provide a medium to interact with dispatch action before they reach to the reducer. Each middleware receives the store dispatch so that they can dispatch a new action so that they can access the current state and return a function. The common use case for middleware is to support asynchronous actions. Isn't it interesting? It is. So let's see how to work with middleware functions in the Redux application. So let me just back to my previous example and then show you how you can work with middleware functions. So I'm going to back to my store.js file and inside this file, I'm going to create my middleware. That's upon you. You can create a dedicated file for that as well. Just for now, I'm going to create a new function for the reducer. So just after this reducer right here, I'm going to create a new function. So I'm going to say here constant. I'm going to name this middleware lock middleware. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this middleware. This is just a function. When you create a middleware, you're nesting a functions. You're creating a function inside another functions. So to create a middleware, you need to start with a function. I'm going to use here arrow function just like this. And this function is going to take first argument, which is store. This function nest another function, or you can say inside this function, we have another function. So I'm going to call here parentheses and the arrow again like this. So inside this function, I have this function. This is what we call a function nesting. Inside this parenthesis, we can get the next parameter. Inside this second function, I have another function by specifying parenthesis and an arrow, just like this. Now you can notice here, here I have three functions. Inside the first function, we have the store parameter. Inside the second function, we have next parameter. And inside this third function, we have the action parameter. Now this is the syntax of the middleware. Now let me show you what we have inside these parameters. So just down here, inside this middleware function, I'm going to simply say console.log and inside it, I'm going to print previous state. And I'm going to just specify here comma, call the store dot get state. As you know, we have get state method to the store object. So I'm going to just access that, specify here colon. And just down here, I'm going to pass next and pass here action parameter. Now, just start that. What you need to do is you need to pass this middleware function as a second argument to this create store. Instead of just passing this function, you need to call here another helper function, which is apply middleware. So I'm going to say here constant middleware called. I'm going to create here a constant variable. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this variable. Here I'm going to call a method called apply middleware like this. Now, when I add this method, you can notice VS Code will automatically import that method in this curly braces. So when you want to use this method, you need to first import that. Once you import that using the Redux module, you need to just pass your parentheses and pass your middleware here. I'm going to pass here log middleware like this. So now once you apply your middleware function, just call this variable as a second argument to this create store function, just like this. Now save this file and try to execute it. Now you can notice when I reload the browser, I'm going to get my previous example console message. Let me just remove this message right from here. Save this file, reload the browser. And now when you click on any of these buttons, when you dispatch your action, middleware will automatically call. So when I click on this add to do's, middleware will automatically call. And you can notice here, I'm going to get my previous state here. When I click on this increment, you can notice here, this will return my previous state. Using just a simple get state, I'm going to get the previous value of my store. Now, what is the meaning of this next action? Calling next continues propagation of the current action. It's important to not alter the action and call it once and only once within a middleware. That is why we pass here next and pass action to it. What if I call this console after this next function like this? Let me show you what happened if I do it. Reload the browser and click on this to do's. You can notice right now, I'm not going to get my previous state. Instead, this is my current state. So when you access your state after this next function, you will get your current state. And before this next function, you will get your previous state. Just take that in your account. 
let me show you what we have inside this action get rid of this complete statement and specify here action reload the browser and click on this to do's you can notice this will simply print my action the type of action is add to do and i'm going to have here payload add to do's using the store parameter we can get the current store value using the next we're going to get the previous and the next value of the store using this next function we can access the previous and the current state value the another use of this next function is to pass this middleware action to the next middleware for example let's say you have multiple middlewares in your redux application this next function is going to pass this action to your next middleware function and you can pass all your middleware functions to this apply middleware function you are not limited to only pass one or two middleware functions to this apply middleware now this is the simple syntax of this middleware now the next question comes in when to use this middleware function adding middleware gives us a place to intercept action and run a side effect before or after an action occurs now let me show you the execution of the redux store when you click on the button it will first capture the event and then dispatch the action once the action is dispatched redux will call this middleware after that once the middleware is executed just after this middleware redux will call this reducer reducer creates a new state from the change prescribed by the action and then update the store and after that the new state is passed to the react application using properties now i hope you understand how to create a syntax of the middleware in the redux application don't worry i'm going to create a simple application in the redux and show you how you can use the middleware inside it